So here we have Wit coming down from the panhandle looking to do some spearing. So naturally, I said yeah. So this is the first time uh, I've gone out of this area. Uh, I'm here with Wit. First time we met. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you, man. And uh, we're about 30 feet of water. And we ran over some uh, what looked like some pretty good structure. It said uh, on Florida Go Fish that there are a bunch of light poles out here. So we'll see what we see. All right, later. If you want to go down, I just went down, so... For most of the day, we stayed on the public numbers that I found off of the Florida Go Fish website. Honestly, these numbers didn't really disappoint. We saw everything from small reef fish all the way to these massive goliath groupers. standard fare of shallow water fish that you could find in about 30 feet out in the gulf but still it was pretty impressive to see how healthy the fishery was out there. So fourth spot of the day, we're about to jump in. This will probably be the last spot. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. We got Wit. He's about to jump in. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right, here we go. This last area was not a publicly listed number, so it was quite a shock to see how much more abundant the fish life was here. It was no longer an issue of trying to find the fish to shoot, it was trying to figure out which fish to shoot. Unfortunately, my camera is tilted down a little low, so you can't really see the full extent of the fish that were just swarming this rock. Yeah. 
storm rolling in, we didn't stay here too much longer. We caught a few more fish and called it an end to a successful day. All right, so me and Wit are back um, for trying out a new spot. I think we did all right. Got a pretty decent sized bag of fish. So yeah, I'm more than likely gonna hit this spot again. Hey guys, so today's fish that we're gonna be filleting is the unicorn file fish, also called the yellow leather jacket which is an apt name for it considering its skin. As you see here, it's got this really firm, strong skin on it. And I normally don't like shooting these guys because I feel bad. Because usually when they're swimming together, I have the idea that they're paired. They probably are, they're probably mated, and I just feel bad. Um, but there was a lot in that particular area, and I took these guys in one shot, so I don't, I don't harvest them that much but this time I did, and I hear they taste great. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first off, just so you're tracking, uh, the leather jackets are not gonna give a lot of meat. They may look a little bigger, but honestly, you're gonna probably have something that's like, I don't know, maybe 15% of the size of this entire fish available to eat. Uh, the hardest part is to get through the skin, and once you puncture the skin, the rest is pretty easily, uh, the rest is pretty easy this guy around to put a small poke him, poke him through the head right behind the eye now the incision is in there I just run my blade down all the way to his gut cavity this whole thing is where his organs are and honestly the meat is not going to be there so you can actually run that blade back as you see all the organs are located in here Okay, and then the meat starts right here. Much like a lot of other fish that don't have pronounced scales, uh, and for the sake of getting as much meat as possible off of this, just grab the skin and peel it free. The skin's gonna come right off. That way you can see what meat you're working with. As you see this whole portion right here, that's the filet and then just separate it like you would normally. So yeah, there you go. That's about as much meat as you're gonna get off of one of these, unless you get something massive. Um, they got a very odd rib structure here. I don't, it's not even like real ribs. Just this massive frame of bone, gnarly. And I am right to the bone here on this filet. All right, let's see if I can do the other side a little, let's see how the other side goes. All right, here we go. All those organs are still in place. A lot of organs, a lot of bone, a lot of fish frame left for a very small yield of fish. All right, let's see if this tastes any good. So we have the fillets here and we are gonna just cook them up normally. We're not gonna do anything fancy. I kinda of wanna see what the taste of it is. Just with maybe a little salt, a little lime juice, and a little pepper, and uh, we'll go from there. And here we have the fillets. Again, not a significant yield from the fish that we pulled them from. Uh, we'll season them up a little bit and then throw them on the pan. All right, so I called an audible. I decided to use the everything bagel seasoning instead of just salt. I am gonna throw a little bit of lime juice on there and uh, we'll see how it tastes. The fillets, season side down. Two on the top. Juice. 
Now, this one curled up because, remember when I pulled the skin off, there's still a membrane on there, and as soon as I hit the heat, the proteins contracted, pulling the skin tight. Now we're gonna try these. I put a little lime juice on prior to, and these do not have the membrane on it. I maybe mean, that one did have a little bit of membrane. Still contracting. So this one stayed a little flatter this time. As you see, this one with the membrane on curled up, but all right, time to taste it. All right, so I've got my most honest taste testers here, my kiddos, Aiden and Alex. Hello. Hey. What's up, yo? Okay, <laughs> we got our fish here. All right, go ahead and grab a fork. Make sure you're blowing it, make sure it's not too hot. Go ahead. What's a ton of yummy? Where are you going? I can't see you. <laughs> I'll give it. I'll give it a one thousand plus a thousand likes. Gazillion. Gazillion. Okay. So, do you guys remember what fish this is? Uh, um, snapper. Gl grouper. No, this is the alien-looking fish, the unicorn file fish. Uh, what? This is a unicorn. Fish? Yep. Look All right. Up. So good. Good. Great. Can I get a thumbs up? Yay! Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Up, 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 up. All right, so there you have it. My boys tend not to lie, I hope. Anyway, so file fish. I don't get them very often. They don't really yield a whole lot of meat, uh, but they do taste really good. So I'm going to finish this, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye. One last thing. So as I'm eating this, I have to say that it tastes like lobster. Honestly, it really tastes like lobster. It's got the texture. Um, and one last recommendation, I know it's easier just to pull the skin off, but definitely take that membrane off because it's got, it's, um, it's a little chewy with the skin, with that membrane on. It's not bad, but I prefer it without the membrane. And again, it tastes alarmingly like lobster. Um, I think I might just make a, a little butter garlic dish to go with it and uh, all right, that's it